What's up guys, this is Rajat Gupta, welcome to my channel. So let me guess, your phone isn't working because you dropped your phone in water. So trust me, do not put your phone in rice bag or silica gel. The, the only reason I'm creating this video is actually because I have faced that problem. I actually damaged my Samsung S6 phone, S6 Edge that you have seen in my previous videos and my DSLR camera to water and uh, you know, you should learn from my mistakes that I did. And I will be discussing what you should do and what you should not do in this video. So, but before doing that, let me show you uh, those clips that I actually uh, did some of the, some of that uh, rice back trick, and also the live footage where I actually uh, uh, damaged my phone, uh, damaged my camera with water. So let me show you that clips, couple of clips, and then we'll discuss about the solution or you know why you should not put your phone in in rice back. Okay, so it's been one hour and we are ready to take the phone out. Take the phone out and, uh, and remove all the excess of the alcohol. Try the phone, we have to wash the alcohol, just keep it on the towel. So let's put the phone inside the rice. I'm gonna keep it overnight. So it's been like 12-30 hours, the phone is still in the rice bowl. So let's take the phone out and uh, give it a few taps. Let me connect the charger. It's not working. Here we are at Kua Bay, the White Sun Beach. This is really beautiful. We have to be here. Let's just check it out. Let's check it out. Oh my camera! Shit. Oh no, my camera! Oh, my camera just got wet, but uh, shit happens. I just uh, put it to dry, and hopefully it will work fine. The primary reason why you should not put your phone in, in or any other device, electronic device, which is not waterproof and water locked or water damaged in rice bag or silica gel is because of time. Rice bag actually will take like long, uh, maybe like a day or something to uh, soak the water from outside of, or maybe you know, the water from inside of your device will not be completely soaked with the rice. And the longer your phone has the water in, in the circuit, it's gonna corrode the circuit, it's gonna damage the circuit. And uh, it, won't, it won't be working anymore, the phone will be dead. So this is actually what happened, uh, you know, you saw those clips where I actually uh, dropped my phone in, my, in the swimming pool water. I uh, damaged my uh, my camera with, with water on, on the lake, from the lake. Uh, but I, I was on actually vacation on both the times and I couldn't um, find any other solution. Um, I actually uh, also connected the, my, my phone and, and camera to the power which I should not. And that actually rendered my both of the devices are completely dead. So let me tell you what you should do in, in those situations. From my mistakes, what I've learned, the number one thing you should do uh, instantly, like if your device is still on, just turn it off and never, uh, never ever connect your phone or any other device to your power source. Never do that. And the most important thing is to uh, buy either yourself or maybe with the help of a, a serviceman, maybe a repair shop. Just get the phone opened and get the water uh, removed from the phone because the sooner get, uh, you actually get the uh, water removed from the device from the phone, the better it will be. Uh, since I was on vacation on both the times, I could not go and find a repair shop for me. I couldn't uh, get the phone open myself. Uh, you know, this actually damaged the phone and, and my camera because uh, the longer I had to wait, my phone's and camera circuit was actually completely corroded by the water. Um, the water was actually a dried on the circuit itself. It, uh, it damaged the circuit and um, it, my both devices didn't work and it both happened like within three or four months of time so trust me learn from my experiences and i hope you take something from something positive from this video so maybe in future you you, you drop your phone in water or maybe water or on your phone your primary concern would be to uh, get the water removed from your phone or from any other device asap that's your main goal should be uh, either you can do it yourself and if not just go to a repair shop and, um, and let the guy do that do his job maybe they can also uh, clean the circuit with isopropyl alcohol which is like you know 90, 91 or 95 or 99 percent pure alcohol uh, it doesn't contain water because it's actually used to uh, clean electrical circuits uh, it is made for uh, that purpose 
but the longer you wait for rice back to work the longer the water stays in your device there are more chances that it's gonna affect the circuit it's gonna damage the circuit and it's not gonna work i hope you like this video so if you do give me a like and subscribe to my channel because there will be many more videos coming away all right guys see you in the next video